Okay, so good news. Uh, the latest version of Ubuntu has been added to Berry server. Uh, that means that you can use Ubuntu 20.04 and all the other versions of Ubuntu, like Lubuntu and Zubuntu and so on, uh, on an SSD drive. Uh, and this is great news because you'll get much, much better performance. And it's very, very easy to install with Berry Boot. So if you click on the download testing images for Raspberry Pi, you'll get this page up and you're looking for Ubuntu 20.04. So just click on that and that will download. So in your downloads folder, you will find that downloaded image, which you can see here. So Ubuntu 20.04, you need to double click on that to unzip it. And then that newly unzipped image needs to be copied over to your USB stick. Okay, so download the latest version of Berry Boot if you haven't already got it. So then you need to unzip that download of Berry Boot by double clicking on it. And then you need to copy the whole contents of that folder. So all of this needs to be copied to your SD card. I've already done it because this is a version of Berry Boot I've got up and running. So you'll see a few extra bits in there but basically you're copying all of the contents of the Berry Boot folder that you've unzipped onto the SD card. And that's it. So now we put the SD card and the USB stick into our Pi. Okay, so this is how your setup looks. So we've got the SSD drive plugged into the USB. We've got the USB stick, which has got the Ubuntu 20.04 image on it. And then we've got the micro SD card, which is the Berry Boot. Okay, if you've already installed Berry Boot before uh, and used it, you'll get this screen. Hit edit menu on boot up, otherwise it will just boot up into whichever system you've starred. If you haven't set up Berry Boot before, I'll direct you to this video, which kind of takes you through the very basic steps of the initial install of Berry Boot uh, and the setup. Uh, and then you can come back to this one to do the Ubuntu bit. So. What I want to do is add the OS that is on the USB stick. So if I left click and hold on add OS, you can see it's got copy OS from USB stick. And there you can see, this is the image Ubuntu 20.04. Click on that and click open. And that's copying the file over to the SSD drive at the moment, ready to be installed. And while it's doing that, I have a video showing 10 different distros on Ubuntu. So you can use Lubuntu, XFCE, uh, all sorts of different versions of Ubuntu are available and you can pick the one that you like best from that. But in my 10 installs, I basically show a bit of each operating system so you can think which one is the best for your needs. So here we go, it's installed. This one here, uh, was basically a failed experiment. So I, before now, the Ubuntu 20.04 wasn't available. So I tried to upgrade from 18.04 and I tried several times and it didn't work. But this is now officially available on the Berry Boot server. So let's give it a try. I'm gonna hit set default and I'm gonna hit exit. And this time when it gets to this menu, I can either hit boot or I can leave it. If I leave it, it will boot into the default operating system, which I've just made as Ubuntu 20.04. So you can see it do it on its own. Okay, so it looks like it's already. So log in with root and press enter. Now we want to update sudo apt update. Unfortunately, you do need a wired internet connection for this portion of Ubuntu. And then sudo apt up. Raid. So we'll say yes. So that's all done. So now we need to add a user. So sudo add user the PSP video. It will ask you for a new password and you need to put that in twice. You don't need to fill in any of this if you don't want to, so just press enter to go all the way through. 
Is the information correct? Yes. Okay, so now you need to add yourself to the group sudo to give yourself root access. So type in sudo add user the PSP video sudo. And now we need to install the Ubuntu desktop. So sudo apt install Ubuntu dash desktop. At this stage you could choose any other. You could choose Lubuntu or uh, Mate or Budgie or whichever one you want, but I'm just going to go for the standard Ubuntu one. So it's two and a half gig, so it's going to take a while. Okay, so that's all installed, so now we do sudo reboot. So click on your name, tap in the password you created earlier, and hit return. Okay, so we're up and running. So let's click on Firefox and see how quick the web browser works. Remember, this is first boot, nothing's been done on this. So if I do hot UK deals, and then open up that page, and then I click on another and do BBC News, go back to Hot UK Deals, flick up and down the page, you can see that it loads nice and quickly, uh, it flicks between tabs quickly, uh, if I click on Files, it loads quickly, if I click on Writer, uh, so this is a bit like uh, Microsoft Word type of program, don't know where it is, oh there it is, you can see that it loads up nice and quickly. So if I close that down, don't save, close down my files app, and close down my tabs, you can see it's really nice and snappy, really responsive. Uh, and also if I search for content, so if I type in disk, you can see it comes up with the disk app, uh, which I really like because it shows you what's going on. So we've got a four gig SD card, which is where Berry Boot is. This is the bit that tells you which operating system you're gonna run or which one you choose it from. Uh, but then all the content is stored on this 120 gig SSD drive. So that's what makes everything lovely and snappy. So if I just show you what else is on here, so shut that down. And when I restart, if I hit the edit menu, it just gives you time to pause and then you can pick another operating system. So you can see I've got uh, Pylab's Raspbian Buster XP, which is excellent. Uh, I've got a test version of Raspbian. So you can add OSs straight from the software, uh, and there are others on here as well. But you'll see that Ubuntu 20.04 isn't on there yet, so that's why you have to do it as a test image. But as you can see, it works fine. Okay, so I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.